just a short tutorial on installing BMT for basically for the first use. So from the Sage UI, we'll go into setup and you can do this from the server directly and or an extender. So you go to setup, you go to Sage TV plugins and list all the available plugins. And obviously you can zip through here and you know, see the different plugins available. We want the ones in the general category. It's the very first one, Batch Metadata Tools Web Interface, uh, or BMT for short. I'll click that, and I want to install it. And if this is the very first time you've installed it, it'll take a little bit longer. It's got to download more dependencies. This will go by pretty quick. Sometimes it will tell you to restart your server, and sometimes it will not. Regardless, go ahead and shut down the UI and pull open the service and stop the service and restart it. It'll just prevent other issues from happening. So we can go back into the, the Sage UI at this point. And the way BMT works is it doesn't sit around and actively pull for new media. The, the way that BMT is notified that you've added any new content, either recorded or if you're just dropping in a, a ripped DVD or whatever, is by Sage's mechanism for rescanning the libraries. And that can either be performed manually by hitting scan imported media, or it's by default in the setup options here, it's set to scan automatically every two hours. You can change that if you want. I, I, I don't know. I mean, everyone's got their preference of how, how often it's scanned. Probably fine for most uses. Access the web UI at this point, and you have to remember that say, uh, BMT will only get new media. For all of the media that you've had in your machine, you will have to perform a manual scan on it. It will not pick those up. That's a big thing. Now to access the web UI, you've got a few different options. You can access it from your local machine. And most commonly, you'll probably just type in localhost. It's probably the easiest. Now, if you're inside your LAN and you're at home, you can also access it from another computer. You just put in the, the server IP address right here. So for example, my server IP address for this machine is 192.168.1.106 and you can find that by going to the command uh, and typing ip config slash all and you'll be able to find your ip address if you don't know what it is and the default username and password for these is sage and frey so i'm just going to log in real quick just to show you and i can type in sage and frey and that's pretty much it i'm in so if this is the first time you've you've run BMT, you're probably going to want to visit a couple of areas. If you've got a bunch of content in there and you want BMT just to take a stab at gathering all the stuff that's missing, because remember, BMT is only going to gather information for the content moving forward, you could go into you know all videos by genre, all videos by year, doesn't really matter, and you could say update metadata, scan all subfolders, update fan art, update metadata, and only update things that have not been previously. You could uncheck that, and if you really desire, you could have it import any TV as recordings. Um, now this would be a wholesale approach. This is just go through everything that I've got and just try to try to match it up as best as possible. If, if you're a little hesitant about uh, running an entire scan on everything that you have, you might want to, to go down to one of these imports, import folders, and maybe you've got some imported TV, and you want to actually, you know, fire off one for Dexter alone. I can just do it for all of my imported TV right here, or I can say I want just the Dexter. I can really find that. Uh, if you've got your content separated by folders, and you want a little bit of granular control, you can fire off individually until you get comfortable with with BMT rather than sending off an entire, it, it just it just depends on how you want to how you want to do it. One of the other options that you might want to to change right away is going into setup. If you want to change your username and password, you can go into Sage TV plugins and head over to the install plugins. And under the the general category for Jetty, you can go to the configuration options in here and you can change your username and password and it's best that you restart the server i mean i think you can even do it here but again it's probably just to your benefit to shut down after you change it shut down the ui and restart the the service 
just to be sure that everything is ingested properly. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and good luck setting up BMT.